Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am so excited to be releasing a video that I really haven't done before. It is making paper mache figurines. If you don't know what paper mache is, it's basically where you basically turn nothing into something. You basically get the plastic bag and make a specific shape of what you want and then you put like you soak some napkins in uh, flour mixed with water or glue mixed with water and basically let it dry and it turns to this like really nice and hard figurine or really nice and hard like you know accessory or something so it's like a really nice craft and i found it out a few months ago and i have been really interested into it so basically today's video is going to be more of a, uh, more of a crafting video I'm really interested in paper mache as well, and I really want to post on my channel um, cooking videos, flexibility videos, and obviously art videos. My art videos aren't going to be typical art, it's going to be mostly, you know, this new crafting thing that I learned. I don't know how long this interest is going to last, I have been very interested into it, and I thought why not make Halloween, you know, kind of really figurines out of it, and yeah. So it's not gonna be like very creepy figurines, it's gonna be more like a cute figurines. So I cannot wait to show you this to you guys. I worked so hard on this and I really do hope this is a great representation of this. And I hope that I at least show you guys what really paper mache is. It is quite complicated, but with the video you are probably gonna get what it really means. So yeah. Also, I do want to mention something. I am very busy right now, but this is the last video I'm uploading for October. I don't think I'm going to be able to upload more videos on October. If I do, I will update you guys on Instagram because it depends on how much free time I have. I am really busy right now, so if I'm not busy, then most likely I'm going to upload another video on my YouTube channel. But just keep in mind, if you see me inactive for the next few weeks, it is because I am very busy. So this is probably the last video for October. I don't know. Again, I'm not sure. It depends on how busy I am and how much time I have to film and edit a video. Because filming and editing does take a really long time and I really do enjoy it. But right now I'm very busy. But yeah, so I'm going to see if I can upload another video. But most likely this is the last video in October. I'm really sorry. But yeah, it really depends on how much time I have. So please enjoy this video. I really do hope you guys enjoy it. But again, I'm not sure if this is the last video for October. Most likely not. Maybe another video and that's going to be probably it. So yeah. Anyways, let's get started. Starting off by getting a piece of foil. And my idea for this is to make a witch broom. I am making like a bear that is wearing a witch costume and has a broom and a bunch of candles. I cannot wait for this. So right now, let's start with the broom by grabbing some foil, cutting it into kind of like a stick and making it, shaping it into a stick. Then afterwards, I grabbed more foil and kind of made the broom like hair thing. I made it and afterwards, I glued them together using one of my favorite crafting glue, Uhu glue, it works so well and it is also washable, but once it's dry, it's not washable, obviously, but I really like it. So now let's go on with the rest of the video. Now we need to make mache liquid, which is either two part glue with one part water or flour mixed with water. I usually add a little dish soap to my flour mixed with water mache liquid because it adds more scent into your figurines and I feel like that's a lot better. But yeah, you can do Open up a bottle and baby you can have whatever you want. You taste so sweet. I can't help myself. You like candy. You like red but honey. You taste so sweet. You like liquid 
Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing we need is a tray and obviously our mache liquid, which is a flour mixed with water and a little bit of dish soap and our paintbrush to, spend, to spread the napkins on the foil to create a napkin kind of like, you know, craft. So, and here is our little foil broomstick. This is just a broomstick that I made out of foil. So yeah, and here is me just dipping my paintbrush in some water to actually start the process. So I start out by dipping my paintbrush in a little bit of machine liquid and then basically spreading it as a top layer before adding the napkins. This tip was given by one of the most, most talented people that makes YouTube videos. They make basically YouTube videos about paper mache. And one of the first tips they said is to put a mache, the mache liquid first and then put your napkins. And they said that that makes it spread better. And this is so true. This has worked for me so well. So after finishing the stick, I worked on the hair of the broom off camera, as you can see, and it was done. Once it was done, I worked on the left side of the bow on the broomstick. I want the broomstick to have a really nice bow on there. And after it was done, um, I started working on the head of the bear. So my plan is to make a witch bear. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, so I'm making a witch bear and I'm making the head as you can see in this footage. I just made a clump of foil, boiled it, and then after that I put in some napkins and spread it with some machine liquid. And as you can see, after it was done, I let it dry. So as you can see, I then uh, made another shape, but this time it was for the body of the bear. And again, dipping my paintbrush in the mache liquid and spreading it as a first layer, and after that, putting my napkin. I'm really sorry, this is not really a tutorial in case you think it is, it's really not it. But this is the final result and let's let them dry. Uh, I have a confession to you. This video is getting way too out of hand and it's so, so, so messy. This is one of the messiest videos I've ever made. So don't really mind that, I'm really sorry if it's messy. This is my first time ever filming a show. And when I came back, it was pain to film. I went through pain and hell to film this. It was so hard to film while still concentrating. It really does need a lot of concentration. And it gets really frustrating. So yeah. Um, so regardless, I am making this video a two-part video. Um, I'm really sorry. I am really sorry you guys, I honestly cannot edit this video in just one week, it took so much editing to edit this, and I still have plenty of footage that I cannot put into this video, this video is gonna be way too long, so I'm gonna make this video a part, two part video, so in about a few days after this video is being uploaded, I'm gonna post my part two, so make sure to like and subscribe and turn the notification bell to get notified when part two is posted. Just to keep you guys on it, for part two, it is going to be all the paint process. So obviously we're going to paint the little pieces, we're going to glue them together, and we are going to really make this come together. You guys are going to be so shocked with how good this turned out. I personally expected this to be super bad because I truly struggled filming this, but it actually turned so cute. And yeah, so stay tuned after a few days i'm not i'm not going to post this like very late don't worry not next week after a few days from now i'm going to be posting part two i'm so excited you guys are gonna love how the final results turned out so anyways i hope that you like this video i know it was a little bit boring and yeah but i really i didn't want to make this video too long so anyway i'm gonna see you guys later bye